hello hello everybody welcome in or welcome back if this is your first time here welcome to my channel y'all this is the channel where we do all things beauty foundation reviews all that good stuff if you're interested in those type of videos make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up before we even jump into the video if you're a returning viewer hey how you doing <laughs> welcome back to my channel and if you haven't subscribed but you're a returning viewer go ahead and hit the subscribe button too because i see you watching you see me watching you and we see each other so you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button it ain't gonna cost you nothing okay so today we're doing a foundation review as promised i've been telling y'all i'm trying to stay up on my foundation reviews because i see that y'all really like the foundation review so i'm trying to bring y'all everything that y'all wish for okay so today i'm reviewing the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation it's the kind of like um i won't say a skin tint but it's very like like medium coverage you know for those girls who like the makeup no makeup clean look as they call it now if you like those type of makeup looks then this is probably a good foundation for you now some specs on the foundation some details on the foundation because i'm not even sure that it's gonna work for me but this particular foundation comes in 30 shades it comes in 30 shades it is 44 dollars and it's supposed to be a hydrating foundation y'all know if you don't know i'm an oily skin girl so i kind of steer away from dewy illuminating radiant all this stuff but the girl on sephora said that it's just a natural finish it's not meant to be like a dewy or glowy so hopefully she knew what she was talking about so hopefully i don't have to make another run up to sephora because i really don't feel like going to return this so we're just gonna pray that it works i have mine in the shade 10 warm so this is what the packaging looks like. It looked like it's gonna be a good match. It looks like it's gonna be a little warm. I did swatch it inside the store. So hopefully it's not too warm because y'all know what Charlotte Tilbury, when they say warm, they really mean warm. Like it's warm, warm. <laughs> we'll start off with this one small pump right here. And let's see. I'm a neutral undertone, so, but I can make warm undertones work. Like it's not a issue. Sometimes it just come across as a little orange, but for the most part, you know, it's okay. I can make it work. Wow, okay, so <laughs> immediately, like they was not lying when they said it instantly provides a glow because this area right here, my cheekbone, is like hella glowy. And I also see that it is, they do say that it's medium coverage. So I do see that it gave me kind of like, it did something, but it didn't completely, you know, Let's see. It says it's buildable, so let's just see how it builds. <sighs> that is glowy. Like that's that's glowy. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I feel like I could be wrong, but I feel like this is a foundation that's going to have me like whew, dewy, glowy immediately. So this is something that I have to sit down. I know for a fact I'm probably going to have to set my whole entire face in order to make this work for me and it is leaving like swipes on my face with the brush so i will go behind it with a beauty blender just to pat everything in like so okay y'all right now we looking like i got glass skin 
I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad thing. It's just, I know for a fact that with the way it's already looking, it don't look like it's going to dry down at all. Let me see. I don't feel like this foundation is going to dry down. So I honestly feel like this is something that's going to have me looking greasy <laughs> all day. Because even with me patting it in with the sponge, it still has like this, this glow. Now, the thing is with me, I don't mind a healthy glow after a few hours of the foundation sitting like when i wear like a natural finish foundation and then it eventually starts looking like this like a healthy glow i don't mind that but an instant glow i don't know the girl at sephora told me that it was just a, a healthy glow but she said that it was not supposed to be dewy or shiny or any of that at all so i don't know if maybe i have the wrong definition of what healthy glow is but this is almost like radiant or something and y'all know like i said i'm oily skin so anything that has the word radiant glow dewy illuminating is not for me so but it did provide a decent coverage i guess i would say more so medium which i'm fine with because y'all know i do like light medium coverage foundations i do full coverage if I have somewhere to go like if I'm trying to keep my makeup on all day but for the most part I do like light medium coverage so the coverage is fine I'm okay with that it's just the overall look like it's, it's, it's glowy I don't know <laughs> we're gonna keep moving I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll come back and let y'all see the finished look of everything and hopefully hopefully my mind changed because right now I just don't know <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back. So it is now, well, when I just checked the time, it was 1.54. I think I applied this foundation around one o'clock. Yeah, I wanna say about one o'clock. So it's been almost an hour already. And what I can tell y'all off the bat, this foundation is not gonna set down. It's not gonna dry down. I don't want to, I was gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me and just use the powder on the bottom portion of my face like how i tell y'all sometimes but i want to give it a fair chance because sometimes i don't like it when a foundation is supposed to be like dewy or like a healthy glow and then you completely mattify your whole entire face with setting powders and stuff i kind of feel like it takes away from the purpose of the foundation so because i want to give it a fair chance i do not want to set my entire face i'm gonna leave this area exactly how it is just so we can see how much oils we actually de actually develop throughout the day so this bottom half of my face where i did not set is still like hella just fresh looking you know like when you apply a foundation and it looked like it's still like if you touch it it's gonna transfer that's exactly what it looked like let me see yeah see like it's let me see i have a napkin right here and i'm gonna let y'all see like the dang it's a little bit of transfer on the napkin basically so this part has not dried down at all so i'm kind of skeptical about it but i'm gonna try to be positive we're gonna keep it on the positive note so being the fact that it is basically two o'clock at this point i'm gonna try to check back in around seven i'm gonna try to check back in around six actually because i did apply it an hour ago so i think six out five hours is a fair chance to check back in with y'all so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go about our day we're gonna do our thing you know and i'm gonna come back around six o'clock and i'm gonna let y'all know how everything looking so yeah let's live all right y'all i'm back it has been a very 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 <laughs> long day it is now 8 30 so i stood in the paint i put this pound i applied the foundation at one o'clock and it is now 8 30 so i gave y'all a good seven hours and 30 minutes seven and a half hours pretty much and this is what it has come to at the end of that day so i have 
oiliness right here in the center of my face as y'all can see very dewy or glowy in this area and just a little bit on the chin but it's nothing too bad um everything else is pretty much still good my forehead is actually probably the greasiest the oiliest area but i don't think it looked bad y'all like i feel like of course i wouldn't just walk out the house and wear it like this <laughs> but if i were to touch it up just a little bit if i take this little napkin right here okay okay still very dewy on the forehead and the nose but that actually looked good i mean of course like we just went in and you know corrected it but i think it's looking back to kind of how it was my cheek area is still a little dewy you know but this i don't mind I, I like a dewy cheek kind of sorta. So yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. Like as the day was going by, and I was just like, you know, enjoying my day because I did a whole lot, you know. But throughout the day, I was just looking at looking at myself in the mirror, like, dang, like it's just something about it that's that's making me look. I don't know. It's just I don't I don't know if it's just that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I guess if it, if it is it the skincare. Let me see. The skincare in it uh, improves look of skin with each wear. Clinically clinically proven results. Uh, skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181 percent. Skin tone looks more even by up to 210 percent. So. It says skin appears instantly brighter and it plumps the skin with the hyaluronic acid. Of course, that's what that's for. I think that's what it is that I'm liking. Like, I don't think I ever tried a foundation that makes my skin look plump. Like, it's giving like lip plump, but in the face. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks very, I don't even know, but I like it. <laughs> so, I honestly think that this is a keeper, y'all. Like... If you do have oily skin, I do think you can make the foundation work. I am like oily, 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 but I think I managed to make this work. And like I said, I walked for seven and a half hours. So I don't know. I'm just saying you, you might, you might want to go pick it up because it can work for you. I definitely think it can work for you. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video y'all that is the end of the video uh if y'all have any questions y'all please leave them down below in the comment section if you really did enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already which you should have go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll leave all my social media handles down in the description box as well as all the products that well as well as the product that I use today and yeah I hope y'all have a beautiful blessed night or day whichever